Hello. I'm lawyer. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome. In the beautiful uh, town of Bellicum. She's the children of the yeah. municipality. That's a very nice concept. Yeah, we, uh, yeah. we do it. Dear guest, may I have your attention, please? On behalf of the Foundation Underprivileged Sri Lanka and the Fair Trade Store Berlikum, I would like to welcome you all to this meeting. A special welcome to the Sri Lankese ambassador, Mr. Aruni Ranaraya. Or Major Han Lawyer. Yeah. And Children Mayor Lynn van Hout. Where is it? Oh, yeah. It's great that you have all been able to find time to come to Berlikum for the opening of this photo expedition, 250 projects for underprivileged Sri Lanka, which shows the impre impressive and important work that the foundation has carried out in the past 16 years. We are proud that we can commit the exhibition of the foundation in our Berlikum store. We like to congratulate its founder, Jan van der Steen, Annie, and the board, the board of this wonderful achievement. I hope you will all enjoy a few pleasant hours looking at the photos and talking with other guests, exchanging experience or finding out more about the work of the foundation. And now I... I would now like to give the floor to Colin Bux. Yeah. So we'll speak on behalf of the Fair Trade Store of the Regional People Berlin. Okay, dear attendees, as representatives of all volunteers of Fair Trade Store Berlin and St. Nicholas Gestel, we would first of all like to congratulate Jan van der Steen, the board and all employees involved in the Stichting Kans Arme Sri Lanka, not only here in the Netherlands but also in Sri Lanka, sorry, Sri Lanka with achieving the 250th Water and Sanitation Project. For those who are unfamiliar with this foundation, it aims to increase the quality of life of the most underprivileged residents of Sri Lanka through water, sanitary facil facilities and health lessons. The target group consists of rural schools, residential communities, homes for children and elderly and people with disabilities. We would also like to express our gratitude and respect to the workers in the field. They do the real hard work of carrying out all the projects and in many cases they are far away from home for a long time. Together with Jan and the Foundation, we have created a unique photo expedition, exhibition in our fair trade store, which we like to share with you all. The pictures on display give a clear impression of the living conditions of the Sri Lankan population in general, but especially of the majority of the children there. Yet, many of them also show the way the team of Stichting Kans Arme Sri Lanka are able to accomplish to improve those conditions. It is good to realize that both the foundation and our fair trade stores are working towards the same objectives. We in the Netherlands should be satisfied and grateful with what we have and also that we should be there for people in the third world who are often much less fortunate. Fair trade stores take this call for help to improve their circumstances too hard. With the sale of fair products from developing countries around the world, we, by removing trade barriers and increasing the market access of the producers, they want to contr contribute to social equality 
a safer and better environment and economic and security in those countries. Doing this, we offer the residents in developing countries a fair chance to support themselves and to build a better future for themselves, their families and their community. We thought this was an appropriate moment to share our objectives and those of the Stichting Kans Arme Sri Lanka with the inhabitants of Berlikum and the surrounding area in the form of this unique photo impression. Over the next 14 days, the photo exhibition can be visited in the Berlikum Fairtrade store daily, also during the weekend. With this event, we hope to involve the Berlikum population with the problems people are facing elsewhere in the world and what can be done to help them with the Stichting Kans Arme Sri Lanka as a great example. We wish the Foundation many good years to come with useful projects, organizations that are willing to support it with ideas, materials of funds, the privatization of the Foundation in Sri Lanka and a prosperous road to reach the 500th uh, project in the future. Thank you for listening and now I will invite Jan from Stichting Kans Arme Sri Lanka to explain more of this great foundation. So, everything is told. <laughs> welcome everybody, a special welcome Ambassador Mayer and Lynn, the children's mayor. Where is Lynn? Yeah. Hi, hi. hi, hi Lynn. Okay, I promised our initiator, uh, Mr. William, that I will keep my speech short. And that's no problem for me. And of, of course, because most of you know all the ins and outs from the Kansarmen. 250 projects. In 2005, I met Chaminda Fernando in Sri Lanka, the current project manager from our foundation. Our plan was to do something with water and sanitation. We had no project. We had no financial resources. We did not know where to go. But we had a good feeling and a lot of motivation. Actually, we started at zero, from the bottom. Over the years, the number of projects are increased. We had our ups and downs. And believe me, we cried and we laughed. Recently, I saw the list with the 250 projects passing by. One to 250. And then I was looking and I thought to myself, oh my God, how was this possible for volunteers? How was this possible? Yes, 250 projects because thanks to you. All these projects with a big impact, big impact. And it's truly to understand this impact, to understand you must, you must see, smell, hear and feel the projects. I can't explain. At the moment there are more than 100 water applications waiting at the office in Negombo, Sri Lanka. And automatically I think of our field teams, our boys in Sri Lanka. They started every project. I am sure you have noticed that there is an economic crisis crisis going on in Sri Lanka. There is a shortage of food, gas, fuel, medicines, whatever. Prices are doubled, sometimes tripled. High inflation, high unemployment. These are extremely difficult times for the inhabitants. Last month, May and June, I was six weeks inside Sri Lanka in the rural area, six weeks among the local people. I listened and watched carefully. And believe me, the people are suffering. They have nothing to eat. They are hungry. What shall we eat tomorrow? That is the question. So, this photo exhibition comes on the right time. 
Now it is the time to give some extra at positive attention to Sri Lanka. The 20 laborers of our sister organization in Sri Lanka are not to blame. Their loyalty is really great. Both teams are still working. And because of the impact, we will go on. Especially in these uncertain times, we have to give the people hope just now. Just now. Just now. Nearly finished. We would like to thank the volunteers from the Wereldwinkel for their cooperation in realizing this photo exhibition. All the volunteers. Thank you. Already from the beginning, Wilde Ganze Foundation supports our projects too. And I would like to introduce Merit Verlieren from Wilde Ganze. And she can take over my microphone. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy doing the exhibition and thank you all for your support, Ambassador Estuity. Well, thank you, Jan, for inviting us, Wilde Ganze, but also inviting us to, uh, to speak here. He asked me to keep it very brief, so I will, so we can enjoy the photo ex exhibition uh, as quickly as possible. Uh, my name is Marit van Dieren and I work as a project advisor for Wilde Ganse Foundation. Some of you might know us and Wilde Ganse, some of you might not, but we are a foundation that supports private development initiatives like Stichting Kans Arme Sri Lanka and their partner organizations uh, in low and middle income countries all, uh, all over the world. And um, we really believe in the impact that these private development initiatives can make. Uh, with these small-scale projects that they implement for the people and their communities. And uh, we value the collaboration with Stichting Kans Arme Sri Lanka uh, a lot, actually. And that's because of the impact that they make, uh, well, the great projects that they implement, but also the way that they work. Because um, I think one thing is key uh, when I listen to Jan and, and the projects, and that is that uh, the community is always participating, always. And um, um, yeah, so the co yeah, the, this community is key uh, when implementing projects so that they have access to water and sanitation. And that is why they feel ownership uh, and why the outcome of these projects is so successful. And that is, I think, not the only reason. Um, we work together with a lot of organizations like Stichting Kans Arme Sri Lanka. But I must say that the passion and the perseverance, uh, but also the knowledge of Jan, uh, is really one of a kind. And I believe that this is also a reason that you, as Stichting Kans Arme Sri Lanka, make such a big difference in the country. Together, of course, with the team in Sri Lanka. Um, even now, with this huge crisis that, is, um, that Sri Lanka is facing, Jan didn't hesitate to visit Sri Lanka um, and the team there this year. So this photo exhibition marks an important and special moment. 250 realized projects in Sri Lanka. And this is really something to be proud of. Uh, as Wilde Ganse, we definitely are. So thank you, Jan. And thanks to the team and board of Stichting Kans Arme Sri Lanka. Uh, together, you really have made this possible. So congratulations. And I'm very, very much looking forward to this uh, photo exhibition. Thank you. Thank you. I will invite you all to come to the fair trade store uh, for the opening of the photo exhibition. Yeah. Our children's major to reveal the photo uh, for the contest for all the children in Delica and Middelrode. Hello everyone, I am Lieben Hout, for our year the children's mayor of Berlijkum. For the children of Berlijkum and Middelrode, this photo exhibition is a unique opportunity to introduce the foundation unprivileged Sri Lanka and the fair trade store in our village. 
To encourage the children to come to our shop and to see the photo exhibition, we organize a competition for the children of our local schools with great prizes. You have to guess the number of children in the picture in the shop window. You can answer the question in this fair trade shop. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you. How many children? As the mayor of the municipality of St. Mears Vestel, it is my pleasure to be here at this special opening. And I'm honored that the ambassador of Sri Lanka, Ms. Aruni Ranaraya, I guess I pronounced it completely wrong, is also present. The underprivileged Sri Lanka Foundation from Bellicum is doing a great job for the residents of Sri Lanka. The foundation has, together with Jaminda Fernando, the sister organization in Sri Lanka, and Sir Jan van der Steen, provided water extraction and sanitation, which has greatly improved the quality of life for many residents in Sri Lanka. From the start in 2006 until now, many projects have been realized, and they have completed 250 projects. Sublime. And for all this good work, I've decorated Sir Jan van der Steen with a royal honor. I have a lot of respect and I am proud of what the organization has achieved and done. The situation and the problems in Sri Lanka, the working method and the positive effect of what the foundation does is captured in a photo exhibition here in this beautiful fair trade store. For the next two weeks everyone is welcome to come and to see it. With the exhibition we show the concrete results of the projects and we give hope for the future of Sri Lanka. And I do later some official. <laughs> there we go. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank yes. you. Okay. Uh, and at last but not least, uh, I will invite a very honored guest, Madame Maruni. You will speak. <clears throat> uh, good afternoon, everybody. I am Bowen from Sri Lanka. That is the greeting from Sri Lanka. May you live long. Uh, first of all, uh, the honored mayor, uh, Mr. Stain, as well as child mayor, mayor Lee. Right? Okay. Uh, and uh, everybody who is here today, uh, I just want to thank everybody here who is helping Sri Lanka. This is a moment which uh, we need help. And I'm very much grateful to Mr. Stain that you have, you have come out and you're helping Sri Lanka. Uh, just uh, give a little bit of uh, relations between Sri Lanka and the Netherlands. Uh, as you know, we have a century-long relationship. Uh, our uh, formal diplomatic relations, where I'm coming from, uh, because I have to speak about a little on the diplomatic relations. Also, maybe you all are very much interested. Uh, we have established the diplomatic relations in 1951. So last year, exactly on the 23rd of uh, November, that's 2021, we uh, celebrated the 70 years of diplomatic relations between the two countries. Uh, due to the corona pandemic, uh, we were not able to have much things uh, physically, but uh, we did a lot of work uh, uh, virtually. The two missions, the Dutch Embassy in Colombo and the Embassy here in the Netherlands, we have uh, celebrated in a grand scale. Uh, in relation to our bilateral relations, uh, we have identified trade and investment, uh, then tourism, culture, water, sanitary projects, then um, uh, environment, uh, then uh, also people-to-people -people contacts as the main source of or the main areas of cooperation. Uh, so to give you a little glimpse of our relationship within the last year, uh, Sri Lanka at the moment, Dutch investment in Sri Lanka is the sixth highest largest investor. So it's, it's a quite an important relationship what we have in terms of investments. Even in, tr in terms of trade, the, uh, the Netherlands stands at seventh largest uh, trading partner with Sri Lanka, for Sri Lanka. Uh, Sri Lanka. Uh, also in terms of tourism, uh, Sri Lanka's tenth largest tourism are coming from the from Netherlands. So as you know, in the recent past, we have been able to uh, 
the Dutch government has very kindly relaxed the travel, agent, travel advisory. So I invite each and everybody participating here to visit Sri Lanka. We will organize a visit to, if, if Mr. Stain would like to do a visit, within the, within, within the, within the membership. And of course, uh, with the mayor, mayor, to go to visit Sri Lanka, uh, we can the embassy, Sri Lankan embassy can organize a visit. Uh, everybody to go and see your projects as well as to have a have a have a visit. What 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 is offered by the Sri Lankan people? I think everyone has experience in Sri Lanka. What who 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 the real Sri Lankans are? Though Sri Lanka is going through a very difficult time in terms of. Uh, social, economic, and political uh, status. I'm sure people like you, people like genuine people, like Dutch people, will always come out and help us. So, with this hope, I take this opportunity once again to thank, and especially to thank Mr. Stain for this valuable. Uh, it's it's so uh, like very warm when you come here. You you feel so warm because I, I felt it. Where, I, where am I coming to Sri Lanka now? Because uh, it's, it's so touching for me. So thank you very much once again, and everybody who are present here, uh, each and everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you. After you have seen all the photos, I will invite you all to come back to the Durpshert. Uh, for something to drink and a little bite from Sri Lanka. Oh, thanks. It's going to be a sub. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are working in the north central, the central, Uwe, and in the middle, we are different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the pipeline system, especially in digging, yeah? we can do. I think the, the men are on the paddy fields, and, uh, but it's good working. They like uh, because they want more toilet. It is uh, execution uh, working. I think you are the good shot. Okay. Okay. Want? Who gave this water project for our school? And also, I uh, thank you all who uh, donated these uh, water projects. Very nice, huh?